It's Bonnie. Happy Tuesday. Halloween sneak peek number two. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. So I did a poll on Bath and Body Works Halloween on my community page on YouTube. I think it was, what, three days ago. And I asked basically, um, how do you feel about Halloween? Them teasing it out in June. And the results of the poll are 2,300 votes, by the way. Thank you so much for voting. 33% said, yes, bring on Halloween. 17% said, yes, but wait until August. <laughs> 18, oh, 19% said, they're more into fall than Halloween. 26% said, no way, it's too early. And 5% said, bring on Christmas. I'm with you. <laughs> bring on Christmas. So I'm kind of doing... Um, middle of the road here. So I'm actually going to do one more Halloween video until it actually appears in stores because I wanted to um, give you a sneak peek of the Halloween page that Bath and Body Works has posted. It was either today or yesterday. They now have a 2021, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna, Halloween page up um, so more will be rolling in on this page as we get more information. I don't know when Halloween's going to launch. I actually grabbed some Instagram pictures from um, my page from last year. And by July 14th, they had Halloween in the store. So it's not really that early based on last year. Um, so we had that um, cute uh, purple wallflower plug-in. Uh, we had the vampire blood soap out. Um, just some, you know, Halloween floor sets coming up. I think by, um, I looked at the date, it was like by September 9th, they had the full floor set. Um, you can see the picture right here last year. So I also wanted to give you guys kind of a timeline and some tips about shopping Halloween. I know it's really early, but like, for example, if you want a Halloween water globe, um, they had those out last year. They were the ones with the bats inside you're going to want to buy it as soon as you see it because those water gloves from Bath and Body Works have become so collectible. I mean, people are buying them and then they're even like, I mean, they're selling them on Macari, they're buying them to collect, but when people see them, they buy them and they're gone. So if you want one, definitely buy it sooner than later because I feel like those are just selling out like crazy in the past couple of years. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited for Halloween. <laughs> um, I don't know if we're going to get one of those giant luminaries. Those are usually really pricey. They're usually like $150, like a haunted house. Um, I will see if I have a 20% off coupon, I might get a luminary this year. Uh, they did not have those last year. So the one scent that we know is coming back, obviously, flagship of Halloween is Vampire Blood, one of my favorite scents. So I'm going to talk about this in a minute. Um, but first, the Halloween page they put up, I will put the link below so that you guys can kind of um, refer back to it. It says, Bath and Body Works is everything you need to set the mood for Halloween. Uh, scented candles, single wicks, hand soap, wallflowers, decor, and more. Um, they mentioned Vampire Blood, of course. Um, and then they talk about... You know, the wallflower plugs, the pocket bags, and the thing, the, the one thing that really made me laugh, though, was basically it said, um, after Halloween is over, stock up on your favorite autumn scents. I'm like, we're like into Christmas by the time Halloween is over. I'm like, we're all like immersed in, in Christmas on November 1st. So we're all going to be like going fall crazy by like mid-August, if not sooner. So... I'm excited. Um, I, I also know that uh, the uh, pumpkin pecan waffles is now, that's coming in a body care. So we have a lot to be excited for. Last year, Bath and Body Works gave us five of the uh, three wick. <laughs> I didn't think for a minute. The three wick candles for Halloween. Um, we got the ghoul friend, the perfect pumpkin. Um, the Vampire Blood, and then we got that Midnight Boo Citrus, and then um, we also got Hot Cocoa and Scream. I don't know if that's going to be back this year. I, I have a feeling they're mixing things up. Um, in the little teaser they did on the app, they mentioned Wicked Apple. I mentioned that last year. Last year, I'm like, we need a Poison Apple Wicked Apple candle, and I'm going to take a break from Bath and Body Works for two seconds to talk about Kringle. <laughs> These are the Kringle candles I was talking about yesterday in my root beer video. 
These you have to pre-order in July. That's the only time you can get them from Kringle. This one is called Poison Apple. They're absolutely gorgeous. They make great decor pieces. They're pricey. They're usually like $29. They might be on sale for like $24, $25, but they're definitely worth it. They're gorgeous. I'll do another uh, video where I talk about you know the, the Kringle uh, pre-sale. I also like to do other candle companies. I love Witch City Wicks. Um, I love Yankee for Halloween. I don't know. It just is nostalgic to me. Village Candle does good for Halloween. I'm going to be heading to Home Goods. I don't know. I should be the queen of Halloween. I love Halloween. I cannot wait to bring you all kinds of Halloween stuff. It's going to be exciting. But I really wanted to talk about Vampire Blood today because this is, like I said, the flagship of the Halloween collection. I really wish we would get a body care collection. I'm hoping um, along the way we get some surprises. They bring stuff out. Sometimes they do bath bombs. Um, one year they brought a, like... Um, Actually, it was like a, I think it was a poison apple, wicked apple. It was that shimmering uh, body foam. It was kind of like um, this one, the Shimmer Fizz. They had a Halloween version. So who knows what we're going to get. Um, we could have more home decor pieces. I'm excited. <laughs> so Vampire Blood, um, this was the one from 2019. And then last year, we got two versions. These are really artsy. Um, there was definitely like a mixed um, feeling about whether people love these or not. So we got the full wraparound. And then we got um, the one with the red wax. This one has white wax um, with just the sticker. I kind of like this one better. I don't know. Vampire Blood just feels... Like it should be red wax. I especially loved the lid on the 2019. It had spiders on it. And of course, oh my gosh, it smells so good. The red wax. So the scent notes in Vampire Blood are Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Blooming Jasmine, and Dark Transylvania Plum, which is like stra dark. <laughs> it's basically um, like a deep strawberry, a deep plum mixed with some floral. I could pick Vampire Blood up in a lineup. It smells amazing. You really get that nice plum, the sweetness of the strawberry, but there's a like a spooky floral mix in there. I absolutely love it. It's one of those scents, like I said, that I, I just instantly know. Um, so that's exciting. Um, so I'm, I'm really hoping that they go back to the more graphic design this year. Although, you know, this was kind of neat. This, you know, if you were doing like a really like, you know, classy Halloween display with some like, you know, black candelabras or, you know, like a bat theme. I don't know. This had kind of a Harry Potter feel to me a little bit. You know how I am about Harry Potter. Um, so I, I liked both versions. I just I just love Vampire Blood, you guys. So I, I can't wait. Literally, you if you haven't experienced um, Bath and Body Works Halloween yet, you're going to be excited. Trust me. <laughs> So like I said, it's coming. Within the next three to four weeks, I have no doubt that we're going to start seeing all of these pieces rolling in. I will be reviewing everything and I can't wait. <laughs> so I will definitely um, hold off until I actually have some Halloween in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to do the sneak peek part two because hey, it's only 59. Is it still 59? No, it went up to 64. This morning it was like 58 degrees, 59 degrees. I ran to the grocery store in shorts and I'm like, I am freezing. <laughs> so I was a little bit ready for Halloween. I, I might just light up vampire blood today. Kind of fill my house with that awesome plum strawberry scent. So anyway, I know everyone's excited about Halloween. I am too. Um, if you're not ready, that's okay too. I mean, it's coming. We'll be ready. I'll be ready. I can't wait. <laughs> so anyway, thank you as always for watching and um, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.